Okay, well, some reason, for some reason, the advocate from the family place called me and told me that she would help me with the protection order. Right here it says that this is not a protective order application or a protective order, but is a satellite protective order screening sheet, and they send it over to the DA. I, I mean, I'm glad she did it. I don't know what possessed her to do it because they haven't been giving me services. Okay, and on here, the request, I have... Um, situations and police report numbers here's a police report where i reported to the police that i was getting railroaded and there was a lot of slander and i was unable to access homeless and other mainstream services to get support and help that's on my channel that police report number and uh there's a police report for right here uh for multiple what some of the multiple police reports that i made about him using my technology my phone to monitor conversations, surveillance, harass, stalk, and cyberbullying me as well, and threats as well. So, um, this one is where I reported that he worked with uh, multiple parties to hinder my child custody rights. CPS was involved, James Hastings in Hills of Hillsboro, Texas, Regina Harris, the supervisor of Waco, Texas, Mary Murphy, uh, all conspired together with Mr. Gardner to take my rights away. There was more parties than that, but those are the parties that initiated the uh, child custody issues, to my knowledge. Allegedly. Okay, and then I reported in this protection order, this police report number right here, with the conspiracy to violate civil rights right here, or multiple parties and agencies, government, and nonprofit deny service or assistance or services for assistance. And then this police report right here is that he hired individuals to stalk, harass, and I physically saw him spying on in a task where I live and I attempted to confront him, but he sped off. He is not now getting other people to stalk me, gang stalk. What that is, is when he's brilliant, if he's hiring different people to stalk me, he can't pinpoint one stalker. There's multiple different stalkers. So if he's doing that, then it can just um, blend into paranoia that he's not really doing it, but he really is because he used to tell me what he was doing. He used to post it in um, fake pages. And like another thing that he sh put in my feed, showing me that he was watching me, he did things like that all the time. So, Dallas police right here, um, I, that's a police report for another assault where someone stole my phone. I believe that he's have has these people stalk me and do things like that. So, I put that in there. And then another gang stalker pulled a gun. I mean, pulled it up to my head and pulled the trigger, but the gun wasn't uh, loaded. The reason why I believe he was a gang stalker he used to um, cause a lot of trouble in the tent area that I was forced to live in because I couldn't get services. There was glass up under my tent. There was a black widow spider. Someone was play spraying, uh, he used to spray ammonia all the time in a little spray bottle. And it would get into my lungs and burn. I didn't have another place to go. And I told him to stop doing it. It caused chemical burns on my face. And someone told me, I don't know how true it is, if they, it was proven that he was doing that intentionally, that, that that's a charge if someone would actually investigate it. So I had chemical burns on my face. I was sick. My skin got dark on my face and I had little burns on it. And I had to live in this area. I had no other place I can go. It was in the pandemic. And the pandemic had just started. So, you know, it was fresh. So we have a glass up under my tent. We have a black widow spider in my tent. We have someone that uh, sprayed ammonia on new clothes that I set outside to dry. So people were doing a lot of malicious things in the tent area. I think it was him. So when uh, in the video that I'll put in the descriptions where he pulled the gun on me, I talked, told him I was recording the smoke. Well, I was recording the smoke because they would look right at me and then put the smoke, wait till I got back and put the smoke out. So when I ride, walk past the tent area, I would have to inhale all that smoke. So when he kept doing it, 
when they kept doing it, I started, I decided I'd record it because he already did all those things with the ammonia and then the black widow spider and then the glass up under my tent. And then I had a little things come up missing, just like some earrings. You know, I can't report that. Who believed that someone stole earrings? That's something like a jealous boyfriend would do. You know, in a pandemic, I couldn't easily replace them. And then I went to Walmart and all their earrings were gone. But someone stole some earrings out the tent. They disappeared. They were in the tent and they, they were gone. So I can't report that. No one would believe that. I don't think that they would, you know, at least. So anyway, th that's what this is. These are the pages. So I was amazed that she would um, refer to the DA. So I'll see where this goes.